Are you just eating a ton of carbs before games and intense training sessions, hoping it will pay off later in the evening? Well, that's a great step to take nutrition-wise, but you're certainly limiting your potential if you're not approaching your pre-game nutrition holistically. And that is exactly what we are going to cover in today's video. So please stick until the end if you're serious about your game, because there are a ton of information nuggets you don't want to miss out on. So. What should a footballer eat for lunch or before a game in general? The first and most obvious goal you should have is to load your glycogen stores, aka a footballer's primary energy resource. And that is being done by increasing your carb intake, primarily with simple sources of carbohydrates. The protein content of your meal should be kept relatively low and ideally consist of lean sources of protein. Fats, on the other hand, should be limited as they can really slow down the breakdown and absorption of the carbs you consume something you definitely want to avoid pre-game, no matter if we're talking about saturated or unsaturated fats. As far as vitamins and minerals are concerned, consume vegetables and fruit, but make sure to avoid bulky vegetables or anything that may cause stomach discomfort or bloating. And of course, make sure you stay in line with your hydration strategy. And if you don't have any, you can click the link below and access our video on hydration. That is one you certainly don't want to miss. Now that we've gone over some general info, let's dig deeper into the why and how of performance nutrition and suggest some things you can start implementing right away. The first question that many of you may have is why should we prefer simple over complex carbohydrates around kickoff? That's a really, really common question we get and the answer can be summed up in one phrase. You don't belong to the general population. Your needs are different. You are a competitive athlete. Although complex carbs might be a steadier, more satiating and many times healthier carbohydrate option, it just isn't the most efficient carb source to choose around kickoff. And that is for two reasons. Number one, it is a slow release carb, which means that your body needs way more time to break it down into a simple sugar and absorb it. And number two, complex carbs are rich in dietary fiber, which is good, don't get me wrong. But this might come with bloating and stomach cramps. And I don't know a single player who wants to perform on game day with a heavy stomach that's only causing discomfort, none. This is especially an issue for players that have a hard time digesting fiber, including myself. Such a bad feeling you want to avoid. I'm not telling you to completely shy away from complex carbs pre-game, but try to manage the ratios and prioritize simple over complex ones. This can truly be a game changer for you. And speaking of dietary fiber and stomach discomfort, two other things that you might want to reduce and limit are protein and bulky vegetables. I'm not saying you should completely abandon them from your diet, but they can really affect you negatively if you consume them in large portions. Lower their intake before the game and fill in your nutrient gaps post-game. Just focus on getting in those carbs, minerals and fluids, while at the same time minimizing the consumption of foods that are high in fiber, or foods, drinks, seasonings and sauces that your digestive system cannot tolerate. On top of all the things we analyzed, you might as well consider some forms of supplementation. I'm not talking about crazy things here, just an electrolyte supplement like a tab or powder or a sports drink, either homemade or store-bought. But please, make sure you're only using these to supplement your diet, not replace your meals with them. Sports drinks and electrolyte supplements can be a really nice addition to your pre-game nutrition and further aid your preparation by adding more simple carbs and minerals to your system. So definitely consider these and make sure to check out the videos we did on this topic last week. Now another thing that may confuse you are the portion sizes you should consume. Of course, we cannot talk about specific numbers here as everyone's nutritional needs are different. We can, however, talk about nutrient ratios and give you a rough idea of the portion sizes you should consume based on the timing of your meals. First of all, the portion size is basically defined by the caloric content of your meal as well as the nutrient ratio it consists of. Typically, a pre-game meal should consist of 50-70% to simple carbs with the rest of the plate being about 20-30% to lean protein. Apart from the ratio of the nutrients, we also have to consider the caloric content of the meal and that's where self-awareness and experience kick in. While some players perform better with the last meal before the game being heavy, there are others that cannot perform with a previously full stomach and prefer lighter meals with a moderate to low caloric content. Your job is to find what works the best for you and adjust. Experiment with yourself, keep track of what you eat and understand what works and what doesn't. The only thing I want you to pay attention to is to stay within a good caloric range and avoid limited or excess calorie consumption that might affect you negatively. Both hands can prevent you from achieving peak performance, so you better avoid them. And in case you're still confused with portioning and the carb type you should prefer, take a screenshot of this so you can structure your diet properly. And yes, I know this might be a bit too much information for you to digest, so here's a little checklist you can screenshot and save for future use. But always remember, 
that you just gotta adjust to your needs. Understanding your needs and gaining self-awareness is the first and most important step to take to optimize your game day nutrition. However, if you want to take this up a notch, make sure to watch this video next.